Welcome back to AM Agenda. Liberal MP Tim Wilson joins us now. He's a Victorian MP. Uh, the wrap-up of the weekend, why? <laughs> Lots of factors. Um, the reality is the state government developed a reputation for delivery and for investing in infrastructure uh, in communities. There's no ambiguity about that. Uh, but on top of that, I think you saw uh, a heartland and a voter base who turned around and said to us, we've had enough. You can go on saying this has no federal implications. Sorry, not true. I sat there on polling booths and every second person either gave you deadly silence, which is in a very cold, deadly silence, or there was um, uh, people mentioning energy, climate, um, or the deposing of the Prime Minister. Now, um, I think we can get past that, um, but I know the people who vote for me, I know them very well, uh, and I can tell you they're not rusted on Conservatives and, you know, out there on the battle case. Um, they're a forward-looking, modern Liberal community, and they sent us a message very clearly. Well, the heartland of the you know small L Liberals, is, the eastern suburbs of Melbourne, there's a, a big cohort of that sort of voter. Climate change, that sort of issue, is important to them, isn't it? Of course it is. And, you know, some of us have been saying this uh, internally for some time. Um, we have a choice. We can heed the message, we can keep trying to stuff reality through, our, through some people's ideological objectives, or we can actually listen, we can understand that we can advance our values and what we care through reality, which is where my focus has always been. But if we don't have a vision, if we don't go out there and project a vision for the future of the building of the state and the nation, we cannot be successful. Mr Wilson, what don't your voters like that the federal government has been offering up? Give us some examples. Well, what they want is they want a very clear articulation about where we're going as a country. Mm. Um, what they want to see us do is invest in building the future of the country. That's infrastructure. That's part of it. Um, it's about uh, understanding the debates that we're actually having and how it impacts their lives. Tax reform is one of the most critical issues confronting the country. These are the sorts of things that our voters expect us to take seriously. And if we're not taking it seriously, they'll look for others who they think can do it. And, and do you fear that what we saw on Saturday will happen again in March or, or May in Goldstein, in Kuyong and Higgins, if you don't heed that message? I, don't th I think it's too early to predict um, what's going to happen next year. I've been messaging voters directly this morning saying, politely, what did you do at the last election? What did you do at this election? And if you changed, why? And, you know, no judgment if you give me a difficult answer. Uh, and it's been fascinating. But investment infrastructure has clearly come through as a narrative. Um, taking these sorts of environmental issues seriously is a very clear message. But what they want us to do is lead. We have to lead the nation, project a vision about where we're going to go. On climate and environment, because you identified that, and voters have obviously identified that this morning to the yes. ones you've been texting, has the leadership at a federal level, been too dragged to the right by the Conservatives who essentially didn't want to see action on climate change, didn't want to see the neg. There is no left or right view on these issues. Um, one of the reasons why I'm a Liberal is because I actually believe in stewardship, that we're going to provide good economic stewardship, good social stewardship to hold community together and build a nation, a successful nation. And that goes for the environment too. I believe in environmental stewardship and stewardship and handing the next generation an environment that's as healthy as the one that failed. I inherited. And what we actually have to do is drive a very clear agenda about how we're going to do that. It's not just about emissions. It's about water management in places like Port Phillip Bay and my electorate. It's about dealing with coastal erosion. It's about getting rid of waste and, uh, and rubbish. It's about making sure that we do confront greenhouse gas emissions. But if anybody thinks that there's this great public sentiment out there that people really deep down hate renewables and they're deep really hug hugging something like coal, I say again, Get real. Yeah, well, uh, you're the founder of your party had a view, a much broader view than, say, just the... Con, you know, and didn't call the party the Conservative you Party. You call the Liberal Party for a reason. And, and, and the reason being, of course, it, it's brought in a whole range of people traditionally. Can you do that again today, you know, in terms of yep. these seats like Goldstein and Higgins with seats like... Herbert and Longman. Of course we can. Queensland. But it's about understanding that we have to work together. I'll give you an example, Kieran. In the August 2017, there were some of us who walked in the party room and said, we want a change of policy. We remember what that issue was, it was same-sex marriage. We were defeated. We accepted the result, we worked with the government and we got the, uh, the Australian people one of the biggest victories it ever had. This August, we had the same thing, except people didn't accept the result mm. and then we lost a Prime Minister. People have to understand that we have to work together. We actually have to project a vision for the country. We need to deliver for our communities and we're representatives for our electorates. Tim Wilson, we appreciate it. We'll talk to you next week. Thank Thanks. You.